Hello Harmonies, Victoria here. Today you're going to see the third part of Chloe's Indian Head Massage. Reaching the scalp and face that brings ultimate relaxation. I hope you manage to feel that just by watching this as well. Please like and comment, let me know how you feel and send me a little thanks in the little tabs underneath this video. You'll get to see something called super thanks and that lets me know that you support and like the type of videos I'm uploading. Let's spread a little healing, enjoy the video. Getting rid of what no longer serves us. is gone. Now working into the scalp. Just applying a little oil. Working my fingers first all through the hair just to introduce my fingers and the touch to the hair and the scalp. Support. through the parietals, over the temporals, and now that lovely smoothing action, smoothing over the scalp. Strong hand, one supporting and the other, smoothing and dissolving the tension. Full contact with the scalp, all the cranium. pieces of hair stimulating little points of the scalp randomly without any plan so it's not predictable <sighs> wonderful letting the tension go Breathing, nice long breaths. And combing, the technique of combing using my fingers with wide gaps going back from the hairline through the scalp so that my nails have contact with the scalp all the way down. Stimulating, combing. smoothing and 
Now for a little bit of friction over the ear, around the temporals. The temporal bones and the muscles just over them can give us a lot of tension, particularly tension headaches. And this area is so good to be relieved, helps relieve eye strain and the tension of sitting at computers, leaning forward. So bringing all of those temporal bones and the muscles to a more balanced and relaxed position. And now over the top of the scalp, towards the back, coming down the back of the head. Working in a, a rapid zigzag from the front to the back. Supporting all the time so that the head feels it can relax and it is supported. And back to the smoothing. One side. Over the top. Over the side. Now for the little raindrops, using the very ends of my fingers to tap through the scalp, the muscles, making sure everywhere is covered and is encouraged to let go. see the tension leaving, rising off and away. Now, working with one finger over the top of the scalp, feeling for any pockets of tightness. And then working acupressure points from the top, just with the breath. And again. Tuning into the crown chakra and the third eye chakra. Potentially colours of white, magenta or purple, sometimes indigo. Just carrying on the acupressure all the way over the scalp back down to that occ occipital point at the base center point of the scalp. And now either side from the front, tuning into the energy, beautiful energy, vibrant and young. Coming back. Wonderful. <sighs> if 
finishing off with a couple more smoothing action over the top Now coming over to the face That's it, beautiful Allowing your head to rest on me just smoothing the jaw, the temporomandibular joint, working over the chin, the bones to the muscle, smoothing any tension in the jaw, letting it go. And now over the nose, the nasal bone, over the sinuses, and over the beautiful cheekbones. The zygomatic bones. And now the forehead the frontal bone, smoothing away any tension of the day, letting it go Whew. long breaths, letting it go now a little pressure around the jawbone up into the hinge just below the cheekbones letting it go And then a few acupressure points and sinus stimulating to help relieve any congestion, stimulating the movement away, away from the centre of the face, the nose. Creating movement away and then under the cheekbones. And then into the forehead using several fingers in a row each side of the center point the little finger just in the point to relieve headaches working in lines away from that center point Attention, I'm just tuning in, sending energy to help relieve. To help the tension go. And then that lovely lateral part of the forehead. Mm. 
lovely and washing it away and then a few acupressure points either side symmetrically on the mouth Oh, on the chin and just above the upper lip near the side of the nose very gently coming up to the temporal temples smoothing the chin and the jaw firmly enough to relieve tension without applying too much pressure the cheeks and then the forehead Allowing the channels open for energy. And then working a little into the chakras. Feeling into the heart. Green energy. Filling the heart with love, abundant love, and passion and healing, but above, above all, love. Coming up to the throat, beautiful throat chakra, full of the potential for freedom, the blue energy. Purple for spirituality, intuition, and mentality, clear headedness, and then up to the very top, the crown. Energy here feels wonderfully light, beautiful spaciousness, connectedness, tingling vibration of energy. Coming down back to 
the shoulders. Introducing my hands back to the shoulders just for a little contact, a little groundedness. Bringing the head back to the body. A few deep massages. Petrissage on the shoulders. Tightness and release. Keeping your eyes closed for now, just allowing the feeling for the treatment to sink in. Let it envelop you. And slowly take three nice long breaths. Bring some movement to your fingers and toes, stretching out through fingers and thumbs, stretching your toes and maybe turning into the wrists, turning into one ankle and then the other. And then maybe the shoulders, rotating the shoulders one way. And then the other. And you can open your eyes when you're ready. Maybe have a nice long body stretch. That's a good sign, having a yawn. Probably ready for bed. <laughs> How are you feeling, Chloe? Very chilled. <laughs> chilled. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Oh, good. That was really nice. Good. Did you get any colours? Mm, uh, like blues and purples. Oh, lovely. Yeah, and I did get light pink. I don't know what that is, but. Mm, what sort of pink? Like a really light pale pink. Yeah. Yeah. Like a rose quartz kind of pink. Yeah. So, um, pale pink. Did you say green or not? You didn't mm, see green? Some green. Oh, you end. did? At you, the end, yeah. You saw a bit of everything then. Really. Yeah, I did, yeah. Only at the end the green was, though. <laughs> okay. So, green and pale pink are the heart chakra. Okay. okay. All to do with love and healing and passion. Um, it's, it's, I'm really glad you saw those colours. That's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, purple yeah. is all to do with intuition, clairvoyance, mentality, um, be being able to think clearly, and uh, spirituality. And what does light pink mean? It's uh, very much with the green. Light okay. pink is, um, you can either see green or light pink at the heart. And you also saw some blue. Mm -hmm. So blue is the throat chakra, which is all to do with expression and uh, our respiration as well. It is to do with our breathing, but very much with being able to express ourselves okay. and um, in whatever form that means. So it might mean with talking or writing, but it can also mean with the music you choose to play or the clothes you wear, or the way you do makeup and hair and the way and any way that we express ourselves. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so That's lovely. You've seen quite what about a few. orange? I did see a bit of orange as well. Wow, okay. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I saw all of the colours. <laughs> I think... Practically. So orange is the sacral chakra here, and that is to do with our um, inner child. It's to do with playfulness and giggles and laughter, creativity, imagination, because basically it's the period of life from about 7 to 14. So it's when we're learning how to play and how to socialise and interact with others. 
Um, it also relates to the lower back, the sacrum, um, and also our sexuality and, and how we feel with our reproductive system. So it's got a lot of aspects to it, really. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you found that interesting. So how do you, how do you feel now? Very chilled and relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good to bed. <laughs> oh, lovely. Well, plenty of water afterwards. And be kind to yourself. Be gentle. Um, allow for whatever you might feel or what intuitively your body and your mind need to do for the rest of the day. Obviously, it's fairly late in the evening now, but um, you've still maybe got a couple of hours. So just sort of listen to what your body is telling you. Um, Indian head massage is a very physical treatment but actually it's working on you very mentally emotionally and spiritually okay. so i'm hoping it's connected with you in lots of different aspects physically and more okay. yeah how do your shoulders and your back feel very relaxed yeah. <laughs> they were very quite tense when i came in <laughs> yeah 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 no, very chilled good okay good. well thank you for coming in thank, thank you, you for having a lovely treatment and I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so Harmonies, I hope you enjoyed that third part. Next week you get to see the whole of Chloe's Indian head massage all in one go with no interruptions. Thanks very much for watching. Please send me a little thanks. And I look forward to seeing you again this time next week.